Hello! Freedom Guy 55 here again. I wanted to actually talk to you, uh, well, apparently uh, about this kind of uh, church that, uh, and preacher that burned Qurans and whatnot. And uh, apparently there's this incident where it happened where, you know, a whole bunch of people threw in, uh, you know, Qurans into a pyre and then stamped it out with, a, a you know, a cross and whatever. And this has been done to the death with people having their different opinions upon it and whatnot. And I find it that there are certain people, uh, usually the liberal variety, but, you know, mainly. And uh, they wound up actually uh, really kind of becoming overdramatic on the subject of thinking that, you know, this is a really bad incident and it's like uh, uh, really kind of stating that it's a, a threat for people to do this, right? And I really don't find it that threatening, and for a few reasons. One, I uh, I, ha I happen to believe that uh, we live in a kind of information age today, where we where there are like cell phones, downloads, and uh, the internet, where information can pass so fast and so quickly, and we can download things very fast uh, from for, from far away. Um, that, as well as even ordering stuff through the mail, that the one thing that's really so interesting about it is that it's just virtually impossible, almost impossible, to get rid of any particular form of information these days. Because it's just passing so quickly and so fast. And the one thing that's interesting is that... Uh, I guess I would be much more perturbed if this was before, you know, if it was before internet, like, you know, if it was like before uh, 1990, you know, but it, it's not. We have much more of the ability to be able to, you know, grab the information, even if a few books are even burned. So I don't find that this is an incident that's, you know, damaging or, you know, scary. Um, the second reason is that it seems to be isolated to this particular type of incident. That it seems to be much more of, in a sense, of a form of protest than it does to seem to be like everybody else is going out there and doing it and it's this great fad or whatnot. It's just not happening. Um, and uh, the third reason happened to be that uh, they bought those Korans. I don't think that they went to uh, people's homes, stole them, and then started burning them into the, you know, into the fire. You know, I think that they bought them themselves. And if they wind up buying those things, then it's their property. They have the ability to do whatever they want with their property. Just as much as I buy stuff and it's my property, I do whatever I want with my property. It's what we do. So, I wouldn't really find it too threatening unless, we, unless people try to start passing laws where we wind up actually silencing individuals uh, to, or individuals to read it or we silence uh, or we try to, or people go uh, and legislate laws to uh, stop the Koran from being uh, produ uh, produced continuously. You know, then that would be much more of a kind of violation of uh, our freedom and threatening. You know, like usually in some other country, like in some other countries, I believe Pakistan turned down uh, YouTube. They wind up actually taking it off because of the uh, whole um, Draw Muhammad Day incident. So those things where the, where the actual government gets involved with something becomes much more of a threat where they wind up silencing it for the citizens and we can't really do much about it. Now, <clears throat> that's where it becomes much more of a big threat to me. Uh, and it's always kind of funny, when you wind up seeing Korans getting burned in pyres and stuff like that, I do remember and recall that Marilyn Manson ripped a Bible on stage. It was his Bible, and he had the right to it, and what, or right to, or at least, you know, he had the privilege to just tear up the Bible himself, and then, whatever, you know, whatever. I mean, it was his property. He did whatever he could with it. I do whatever I could with mine. I didn't really mind that incident, and many other people didn't either. 
But the same people that didn't mind that incident winds up actually minding this incident, as if it's so much more evil or bad. And I just really don't think so. But, you know, people usually in certain situations, especially politically, get kind of a little over-emotional, and they uh, kind of become over-excessive about their situation. Anyway, and I guess that's it. And I thank you for your time, and have a nice day.